Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Right now we're in the M2 and I got my buddy Jason in my Golf R behind me. And in this video, we're gonna weigh the two cars on a cat scale and see exactly how much they weigh because we do a lot of uh, races in Mexico and I wanna make sure that when I'm quoting the weight, I'm quoting a accurate number. So I wanna get an actual real idea of how much the Golf R and the M2 weighs and like I said, we're going to a cat scale, so that means that, um, you know, that's what the trucks use to weigh, like their trailer, their axle, and all that stuff. And we'll be able to weigh both cars at the same time, which is why I got my buddy Jason with me. So we don't have to pay for two ways, we, we can only pay for one. I'll catch you guys in just a bit. I'm gonna show you guys both cars so you know what we're talking about. I should go over the fuel levels and all that stuff and what's in the car so we can get an accurate idea of what the weight's going to be. So I'll catch you in just a second. All right guys, check this out. So when I have my turn signal on, I have my left signal on, it actually signs a signal on the little M2 in the display. That's really cool actually. It's a nice attention to detail. And then also it has a red one too. So I don't know if they're all red or if it goes by the actual color of your car, but that's pretty cool nonetheless. All right guys, we got the cat scale right over there. You guys can see it right there. We're gonna weigh the two cars. If you guys don't know, my M2 has the M carbon roof and it's the eight speed auto. I do not have the expensive carbon package, which includes like the carbon seats and stuff. I don't have anything in the car at the moment. So I'll show you guys. Nothing in the car, nothing in the back, nothing in the trunk either. And then underneath this is the battery and nothing else. So I have a little uh, BMW roadside assistance thing here. And then let's check out the Golf R. I think I have a few more things in the Golf R. Only thing I have is my sunshade, which doesn't weigh much of anything. This is the stuff that comes with uh, Golf R's. So that's like the uh, tire iron and all that stuff. So that stuff does add some weight, but I'm gonna leave it in the car just because that's kind of the way the car comes unless you wanna remove that weight. Mine's a 20th anniversary edition, which means I don't have a sunroof. So that's a little bit less weight. Then we look in the front, nothing here. Got the little Volkswagen uh, roadside assistance thing here. We got the uh, first aid kit. And then underneath this thing here, show you guys real quick. We got the subwoofer. Oh, you guys probably can't see it, but we have the subwoofer under there. So that's everything for the Golf R 2023. And I'll show you guys the fuel level too. Okay, so it's almost a full tank. I'm at 300 miles to empty and it's only down by like, I don't know, I'd say it's honestly like four fifths or maybe five six. So it's pretty high, so the gas is pretty high in this one. All right, guys, looking at the M2, we are at about, I'd say about two thirds of a tank with the M2. So both of them have quite a bit of gas in them. If you guys don't know, for one gallon of gas is about six pounds. So you can do your own math on that. The CAT scale only measures uh, uh, by tens. It doesn't measure by like the exact, uh, you know, one point. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get on the CAT scales now and see what happens. Oh yeah, there's no one on it right now, so we should be okay. I'm gonna go on the first one, I'm gonna have Jason go on the second one. Okay, so we're gonna stop here, leave the car on. See if I can get like a little thumbnail or something. That's a perfect thumbnail. You're good, Jason. <laughs> all right, now let's go ahead and weigh them. Got airplanes, traffic, all kinds of noise over here. All right, here we go. Good evening, first ride, Eli. Excuse me? What, what'd she say? Don't, don't step, I don't step on. I can't understand you. You're talking really fast. Sir, I'm just saying good evening, first way or relay? Oh, first way. Is it military move? Nope. What do you want to be on your ticket? What do you mean? I mean, is it a personal or oh. company vehicle, truck per number, vehicle number? Personal. Okay, my dear, when you come in, just bring your uh, license plates. That's all. Perfect. Thank you so much. Alright, we're good. So we can just, uh, we're just gonna go inside there now. You can pull up the scale also. Perfect, thank you. Bye bye. 
All right, guys, was it just me or was that lady like super hard to understand? Like, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, you know, I understand she has an accent and stuff, but I didn't understand what she was saying. It sounded like, nine, 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 nine. that's what it sounded like she said. But anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and see uh, what it weighs. A song. Yeah. Was it just me or was she super hard to understand? She's very hard to understand. <laughs> How's it like driving the Golf R? It's very tight. Tight? Okay. Yeah. Feels nice and smooth, huh? It does. Compared to my car. What about at least. the Oh yeah, compared to the dart? Yeah. What about the power? I didn't really get on it. Okay. You can get on a little bit if you want. You're allowed to. <laughs> okay, how much do you think it's gonna weigh? We gotta we gotta put our guesses in for the M2 and the Golf R. Just so you know, Volkswagen says the Golf R is supposed to be 3481 and BMW says the M2 is supposed to be like 3805 or whatever. What do you think? I think they're gonna be within a hundred pounds of that. Well, yeah, probably. Either higher or lower. All right, guys, results are in. The M2 was on the steer axle. The M2 is actually exactly 3,800 pounds. So with the amount of gas I have in it, which is about two thirds of a tank, and with my options in the car and everything, it's exactly 3,800 pounds, exactly what BMW said it was, which is pretty cool. I'm sure with the sunroof, it'd be a little bit heavier. Um, the Golf R, has pretty close to a full tank of gas and it's 3420 which isn't that bad to be honest with you um volkswagen says 3481 but again that's what the car is with a sunroof so mine is uh, no sunroof 20th anniversary and it's almost a full tank of gas so if both cars were at half tank honestly i'd say the m2 would be about like 3780 maybe 3780 if it was at half tank and then the golf r would probably be around 3400 if it was at half tank so that's the weights 3400 golf r 3800 m2 so now i know uh when i do my mexico videos that um now i know what i can say for the weights but i've always called the m2 3800 pounds and i'll say the golf r is a little over 3400 that's what that'll be what i say now we're gonna drive back home and uh jason said he's gonna do a little flyby in the golf r so we'll uh record that when he does it it looks good it's to my oh oh yeah there you go. It's all right. Golf R looks good though. It looks better on camera than it does in person, to be honest, because I see all the dirt when I look in person. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hear a little bit of turbo whistle. We turn left on Decatur, by the way. Oh wow, it's actually pretty loud. It like sounds like a lot of air, but it's it's fairly loud. Yeah, let's let's hear it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, I think we gotta turn left up here. really cool it takes off really quick all right guys just made it back home one last shot at the weights so you guys can look at it 3800 pounds m2 and 3420 for the golf r if you guys enjoyed this video please give a like and subscribe share your thoughts in the comments below and i will see you in the next one see you next time <laughs>